programmed death ligand 1 also known as cluster of differentiation 274 or B7 homolog 1 is a protein that in humans is encoded by the CD274 gene. Programmed death ligand 1 is a 40K DAR type 1 transmembrane protein that has been speculated to play a major role in suppressing the immune system during particular events such as pregnancy, tissue allografts, autoimmune disease and other disease states such as hepatitis. Normally the immune system reacts to foreign antigens where there is some accumulation in the lymph nodes or spleen which triggers a proliferation of antigen-specific CD8 plus T cell. The formation of PD-1 receptor slash PD-L1 or B7.1 receptor slash PD-L1 ligand complex transmits an inhibitory signal which reduces the proliferation of these CD8 plus T cells at the lymph nodes and supplementary to that PD-1 is also able to control the accumulation of foreign antigen-specific T cells in the lymph nodes through apoptosis which is further mediated by a lower regulation of the gene BCL2. Binding PDL1 binds to its receptor, PD1, found on activated T cells, B cells, and myeloid cells, to modulate activation or inhibition. The affinity between PDL1 and PD1, as defined by the dissociation constant KD, is 770 nanometers. Interestingly, PDL1 also has an appreciable affinity for the costimulatory molecule CD80, but not CD86. CD80's affinity for PDL1, 1.4 a micrometer, is intermediate between its affinities for CD28 and CTLA4. The related molecule PDL2 has no such affinity for CD80 or CD86, but shares PD1 as a receptor. Said al. showed that PD1, upregulated on activated CD40 cells, can bind to PDL1 expressed on monocytes and induces IL10 production by the latter. Signaling engagement of PDL1 with its receptor PD1 on T cells delivers a signal that inhibits TCR mediated activation of IL2 production and T cell proliferation. The mechanism involves inhibition of ZAP70 phosphorylation and its association with CD3I paragraph. PD1 signaling attenuates PKCI activation loop phosphorylation, necessary for the activation of transcription factors NFIB and April 1, and for production of IL2. Regulation, by interferons, upon IFNI cubed stimulation, PDL1 is expressed on T cells, NK cells, macrophages, myeloid DCs, B cells, epithelial cells, and vascular endothelial cells. The PDL1 gene promoter region has a response element to IRF1, the interferon regulatory factor. Type I interferons can also upregulate PDL1 on marine hepatocytes, monocytes, DCs, and tumor cells. On macrophages, PDL1 is notably expressed on macrophages. In the mouse, it has been shown that classically activated macrophages greatly upregulate PDL1. Alternatively, macrophages activated by IL4 slightly upregulate PDL1 while greatly upregulating PDL2. It has been shown by STAT1 deficient knockout mice that STAT1 is mostly responsible for upregulation of PDL1 on macrophages by LPS or interferon gamma, but is not at all responsible for its constitutive expression before activation in these mice. Role of microRNAs Resting human cholangiocytes express PDL1 mRNA, but not the protein, due to translational suppression by microRNA MIR513. Upon treatment with interferon gamma, MIR513 was downregulated, thereby lifting suppression of PDL1 protein. In this way, interferon gamma can induce PDL1 protein expression by inhibiting gene mediated suppression of mRNA translation. Clinical significance. Cancer. It appears that upregulation of PDL1 may allow cancers to evade the host immune system. An analysis of 196 tumor specimens from patients with renal cell carcinoma found that high tumor expression of PDL1 was associated with increased tumor aggressiveness and a 4.5 fold increased risk of death. Ovarian cancer patients with higher expression of PDL1 had a significantly poorer prognosis than those with lower expression. P. 
PDL1 expression correlated inversely with intraepithelial CD8 plus T lymphocyte count, suggesting that PDL1 on tumor cells may suppress anti tumor CD8 plus T cells. This has encouraged the development of PDL1 inhibitors, which as of April 2013 have started clinical trials. The effect might be tumor type dependent. A study on patients with non small cell lung cancer showed that greater PDL1 protein and mRNA expression is associated with increased local lymphocytic infiltrate and longer survival. Listeria monocytogenes, in a mouse model of intracellular infection, L monocytogenes induced PDL1 protein expression in T cells, NK cells, and macrophages. PDL1 blockade resulted in increased mortality for infected mice. Blockade reduced TNFI plus or minus and nitric oxide production by macrophages, reduced granzyme B production by NK cells, and decreased proliferation of L monocytogenes antigen specific CD8 T cells. This evidence suggests that PDL1 acts as a positive costimulatory molecule in intracellular infection. Autoimmunity the PD1 PDL1 interaction is implicated in autoimmunity from several lines of evidence. NOD mice, an animal model for autoimmunity in that they exhibit a susceptibility to spontaneous development of type I diabetes and other autoimmune diseases, have been shown to have precipitated onset of diabetes from blockade of PD1 or PDL1. In humans, PDL1 was found to have altered expression in pediatric patients with systemic lupus erythematosus. Studying isolated PBMC from healthy children, immature myeloid dendritic cells and monocytes expressed little PDL1 at initial isolation, but spontaneously upregulated PDL1 by 24 hours. In contrast, both MDC and monocytes from patients with active SLE fail to upregulate PDL1 over a five day time course, expressing this protein only during disease remissions. This may be one mechanism whereby peripheral tolerance is lost in SLE. See also Cluster of differentiation, co stimulation, immune tolerance. References External links CD274 protein. Human of the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings